Hello everyone, welcome back to the shop. Today, I'm going to be explaining my reason why I do not dress my anvil edges. Thanks for watching. Here we are everyone, at my anvil. This anvil is a 465 pound beauty uh, that I've purchased just this year. Um, I've affectionately named her Olga, um, and I absolutely love working on this anvil. Um, this video is not going to be very long-winded. I'm going to try to be short and quick and to the point. Um, I'm going to express this out. Guys, put your comments, uh, your thoughts in the comment section below. I appreciate it, all the different viewpoints that I get. Um, I may not agree with everybody, but hey, that's fine. Um, I've been doing this long enough. Now I don't have to agree with wherever the wind blows. Um, so um, my my thought and opinion on anvil edges is as simple as this. My anvil edges, there's nothing more than about an eighth inch radius on anything of my anvil edges. Now up here, there's just a slight bit more, but I never work up here anyhow. Um, I always work out into the center. But I never put it any more than an eighth inch radius on any of my anvil edges and I don't try to dress them. This one was already dressed with an eighth inch radius and that's the way it's going to stay unless I ever have any problems with any old chips or dings or something that I've got to work out of the anvil. Um, the reason why I don't dress my anvil edges is for this fact alone. I spent, see here, eight, eight and a half years looking it might even be nine years, um, looking for a really nice anvil. Why would be the first thing that I would want to do is take and grind off all the good clean edges on a really nice anvil? Um, you know, when we first start out in blacksmithing as beginners, you know, we deal with everything, uh, a whole gamut of just really cruddy anvils. They got really big, nasty, chewed up marks in the edges, you know, big divots all over the face of it. You know, everything's wonky. There's not a flat spot on it. So why would be the first thing you would do after you spend a lot of money on a very nice anvil that you've saved for and worked hard for is take a four and a half inch angle grinder and grind the hell out of this edge and put a big swoop and radius all over this thing to where now you no longer have a good edge to work on. That's my theory on that. Um, so, like I said, I promised I wasn't going to be long-winded. I think that's long enough. I'm going to go over, revisit my hammer techniques uh, video to cover a comment that I made in the comment section about how I feel that the over-the-edge technique, drawing out um, technique, is not as worthwhile as it is made out to be and and I will explain more in detail uh, why that is um, in a, another video look for that one it'll be called hammer techniques revisited um, these are simply my opinions on the subject I know that there's a lot of different schools of thought out there um, about dressing edges and this and that and I just don't I don't care to get into kind of a bickering or arguing match with anybody um, I have been doing this craft now for uh, nine coming up on ten years um, and I don't I, I don't believe I will be changing my method of, of work uh, anytime in the future um, so you know I'll, I'll stand by that until something gets proved different in life um, but, you know, I greatly appreciate hearing everybody's opinions and uh, comments in the comment sections and, um, you know, a, a freedom of thought. You're not going to get chastised. Um, I'm definitely not going to chastise you for uh, something you want to believe. Even if I feel that it's misled, I won't do that. Um, I just enjoy the community aspect of this channel, and I hope you guys have been enjoying that too. Um, I like to take and, you know, shake things up a bit and give some other thoughts on things. So anyways, that's why I don't radius my edges is because I don't believe there's a need to. I believe we need to take and have really good clean edges to do really good clean work or at least in the method that the method that I use and that I have been taught. Um, and, and that's pretty much it guys. So 
Thank you for joining me and listen to this little bit here. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Thank you all. God bless you. And thank you to all my loyal subscribers. You guys have a great day.